Hey, what up Z Clan and everybody else? How you doing? I hope you're all doing good. Welcome to my Fallout 76 notification video. In this video, we're going to take a look at the Atomic Shop, see what we got there. Uh, afterwards, we're going to take a look at the Daily Challenges, see what we got to do in order to make some score. And we're going to take a look at the Daily Op, see what is the combination of the two days Daily Op. By the way, I have all the timestamps available in the uh, description or on the progress bar of the video. You can just navigate to and watch what you want to watch. Alright, so uh, let's not wasting time and jump right into it. Alright, so first things first, let's go and take a look at the Atomic Shop. Uh, once again, uh, Z Junior is here, so you might hear some background noise. So let's go to the Atomic Shop and all the way to the Special tab and see what we got today. We got today Stanley, a weapon skin for Grognak Axe. Hmm. I don't think this goes with a bundle or whatever, but it's been a while since, I don't know, a couple of months that this has been being released if I'm not mistaken. Honestly, as a not melee user, but a weapon collector, I want to get it, but not on this price. I'm going to wait until a 50% discount and uh, maybe I would recommend you to do the same. Uh, but anyway, that's just my personal opinion. If this is something you use, then it's most probably a good discount. Oh, hold up. Alright, everything is all good. Now let's take a look at the daily challenges. So, daily challenges, buy or sell an item from another player. Pretty straightforward. Just go to any vending machine, buy something, and you'll get it done. Complete a daily operation. That's also pretty straightforward. Plus, I'll let you know which uh, what we got to do today. And pretty much everybody does one per day to get that chance to get that rare loot. Uh, complete an event, also pretty straightforward, any event, even if you capture a workshop and then just wait for a couple of minutes until it triggers the defensive one, and you defend it, you complete the event, done. Uh, consume alcohol, local beverages, if you don't have any on you, man, I just sold all mine to the damn vendor. <laughs> well, luckily for me, I know where to get those. I'm going to show you a location. Previously, before patch 22, it was a location where you could meet like level 1 to 10-ish levels uh, so I'm pretty sure if you even just got started out that location will not be difficult for you uh, I'll show you that when we're done here uh, gold star complete daily that's pretty straightforward to do any five dailies here and that will trigger automatically uh, on reward you with uh, extra score kill a creature while in a group 25 times you can do that by joining any public team so that is also pretty straightforward level up straightforward nuclear winter revive a player I don't think I'll be doing that today so let's take a look and uh, where you need to go in order to get those alcohol beverages if well you can buy them from vendors but in case if you just want to get some plus it's a location where uh, about six or seven outfits appear and they're all randomized so you might get lucky once I got there a green hoodie once I got there uh, pretty much a lot of different things so let's go Alright, so the location that I was talking about is uh, the Morgantown. So you need to, if you fast travel to this actual location, you will end up right here. So once you end up right here, all you gotta do is just pretty much run straight forward. You run straight, and then you'll see a couple of goals in front of you. Uh, they will be uh, scaling to your level, but they will, should not go over level 50. So if you're like 33, I believe they should be level three for, 33 for you. I'm not quite sure how the system works if uh, for the under uh, level 50 players, but I'm pretty sure that that's the case. Although I'm planning to level up uh, four more characters to level 50, those are my mules, and uh, I'll do the script and plus buy sell with those guys. So uh, then you gotta run all the way up there. So as I said, you just keep running straight, and there's gonna be a tent and a whole bunch of like outfits, as I mentioned. Alright, so here's the tent. Inside the tent you can find your alcohol. Shoo. So that's the alcohol right there. And I got... Come on, seriously? Johnny! Yeah. My son loves to go under the table and when he gets stuck he just starts... Rah! Anyway, so here's the alcohol drinks. One, two, three and four. I, I think the other one was a bottle. But anyway, uh, the outfits should be here. I don't know why they're not here. Uh, pretty weird. They've always been here. 
and the outfits are here as well look at that green bandana and over here you can also find some outfits is that what I think it is <laughs> you gotta be kidding me I actually found another green hood what up kind of daddy <laughs> uh, the green hood is actually a pretty cool one and it's a pretty rare one because I do not know another location of green hood Although it's kind of dark in here, so you can't see normal. There you go. Just a little bit like that. And as well as, if you didn't uh, get all the bottles needed, uh, essentially you can go to our uh, favorite guy, the Leave Zeeve. What, what was his name? I forgot. Oh, wait. Actually, wait. You can go to the party house right here, and they should have some alcohol here, too. Alright, so this is the place, right? I came with a DLC ever since the first time we got those alcohol things coming out. There's a lot of different outfits here as well, such as Great Knit Cap. There's a 100% location. The baseball uh, cap also as well, 100%. There's a chef cap as well over here. Uh, a whole bunch of other uh, jeans, outfits. I think that, I don't remember, but there must be somewhere a tinfoil. If I'm mistaken. I'm pretty sure I saw one. I just can't remember where exactly it is here. Tin foil. Ah, there it is. There is the tin foil. Uh, there are some bottle caps, ca uh, like glasses over here. Nice stuff. Uh, then we got some more outfits here. There's a hat over here. These these are always the same. So it's a pretty cool stop uh, to kind of take a look. And obviously there's a lot of. Uh, there should be a lot of alcohol here. I mean, you guys were party all night long, look at them, but probably they're all empty. <laughs> well, I tried, but I'm going to take a look a little bit more. No, I think these guys drunk everything. Oh, those cockroaches. Well, the best way is the vendor, because vendors, they have alcohol. And uh, there's one in uh, White Springs Resort who sells only alcohol, but I'm going to give it a try on that one right there. Well, I don't know what's wrong with this vendor. This guy is not working. <laughs> he stopped selling stuff. Man, this game is one big feature sometimes, ain't it? So basically, you buy it from them. Once you have the five bottles, you can find them worldwide just by adventuring. And as soon as you get them, all you got to do is drink them up. So bam bam. Oh, I might even gonna have enough to do everything without the need of buying it. Turns out I didn't sell all of the alcohol that I had. Uh, so I need three more bottles. Okay, there we go. Take that one. Always keep a couple of bottles with you just in case if you get this annoying quest. I really hope that they will never bring back that you have to make them. Because making them is even worse. I have vintage Nuke and Shine, but I don't want to waste those. Boom. Done. Now let's take a look at the uh, daily ops, what we have today. Alright, so here are our daily ops uplink, and it's not looking good. This is the exact combo that I hate the most. So basically, the location is the Galleria, Valley Galleria, the enemy faction are robots, and the mutation is resilient. I'm pretty sure. Can you tell me if I pronounced that correctly or not? And basically that mutation is where you can kill them only by a melee attack. You can't kill them no other way. So, ugh. good luck and happy hunting. Alright Z-Clan and everybody else, uh, once again thanks all for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, don't forget to hit that like. Comment down below, please make sure not to use profanity as those comments get triggered by YouTube. Nobody see them, nobody can read them, nobody can react to them. So if you got some negative or positive to say, you can always provide it without swearing in the comments. If you're new and you subscribe, welcome to Z-Clan. I'm Gamer Z Soul from Ukraine. So hi from Ukraine and once again, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to join our Discord, feel free to do so. The link is down in the video description with all other links that you might find of use. Such as my Twitch link if you want to uh, check out one of my live streams. And a tutorial on how to use our Discord because the Discord is pretty big, over 600 members. A new update is coming in next month. It's going to be a pretty big one, so I'm going to make a new one. Uh, but anyway, once again, thanks all for watching. I'll catch you later. Bye.
From the ashes we rose into